like a pro. <laughs> hey y'all, so today we are going to be doing my cousin Jackie's hair. Let me insert a picture of me and Jackie like 30 years ago, like wow time just flies it's so hard to believe that that was this long ago and now we are here and i'm getting ready to uh get my cousin together so anyways we're gonna be doing a partial highlight on her she has another stylist that she uh goes to traditionally she's a little bit closer to her than i am so she goes there for like you know her basic upkeep and stuff and then when she wants to you know experiment with you know her highlights and more you know guys custom colored and she swings her way on over to me so uh i'm going to liven this up a little bit freshen it up um she's used to her hair being very 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 bright um and my cousin right she has like really 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 healthy hair um long hair and her hair is really good on color some people's hair just really can't take hair color um but she's not one of those people she can i've seen her rock just about any and everything within that blonde copper red family she's pretty much had a pretty much any type of combination you could think of so we're going to freshen her up today with a lived in balayage placement and we're going to achieve some golden blonde highlights and gold is really one of those tones that actually i shy away from i'm actually a more of a fan of the sandy colors the champagnes the neutrals the even ash but i typically don't experiment with very 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 warm colors but lately i have been and my god y'all like the results that i have been getting i'm like what have i been doing like i should have been on this kick and only reason why is because um with melanated women's um our hair fades really warm really quick anyway so i'm always thinking okay if i go a little bit cooler then they can experience a, a variety you know until it's time to refresh their hair but I'm like, screw all that. I have been loving these warm blondes, these golden blondes. Like, they have really, really, really been giving. So, um, that's what we want to do today for Jackie. And I'm excited, guys. I was wowed by the end results. And um, I'm sure y'all probably will be too. Because I really, I truly wasn't expecting her to, to turn out as glorious as it did. So, um, let's go ahead and get into this placement. So I'm choosing to do my partial balayage placement for Jackie because I want to keep her maintenance as low as possible. And anytime I'm seeking low maintenance, balayage is traditionally um, my favorite technique to use just because you can experiment with more lived in looks and you don't have those demarcation lines like you do with foils. And so um, with balayage, it allows you to really go in and customize each individual look and tailor it to that client. So for my cousin, I know that she lives, uh, she's a little bit further away from me and we don't wanna, you know, do her highlights more than once or twice a year. And I wanna keep it looking fresh year round. Now she can come back in, uh, let's say maybe six months for a face frame cause her hair grows like grass. Like it just grows that fast. So um, I'm making sure that I'm placing that lightener up really, really high around her face because I know that when I see her next time, it's going to be like, okay, you about almost do for a face frame touch up, you know, to keep that brightness there. But just because your hair is growing out doesn't, abs doesn't mean that you absolutely have to get it retouched, you know, as soon as possible, you know. But some hair color, as it grows out, sometimes the better it looks, you know, you can achieve and wear multiple different looks throughout just out of one hair color session. So growth doesn't always mean that it's time to get more highlights. Sometimes you might need a toner refresh, um, but at max, you know, you don't have to get highlights all the time. So that's the goal here, low maintenance, um, because we don't want to retouch these highlights again for a while. If anything, if she wants to retouch anything, we'll do a face frame, but that'll be it. And 
open air processing now i am using my little saran wrap uh strips that's actually not the name for it it's actually called balayage film <laughs> but it looks like saran wrap um and you can use saran wrap in place of it sometimes if i'm all out i need to go make a quick run i'll just go across the street and grab some saran wrap right quick same results um and yep just gonna put that on there and being that her hair color is already at about a six um, I knew it wasn't going to take long for us to get those level nine, eight, nine ish results that we were seeking. And like I said, golden blonde is the goal. So this placement is tried and true for me. I love this placement and I do it a thousand times and I always do it differently. Like I keep like the structure the same and my sectioning the same, but I always switch up where I put these highs and lows it, it just depends on face shape it de depends on you know how much brightness someone wants to see like you can get really 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 detailed with this placement so that is what we are going to be doing guys and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like also before we get to the reveal I wanted to mention guys that with this technique it is all about saturation and placement um, balayage is not a specific hair color um, and I know it's really 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 trending right now but it actually is not one specific color it is solely a technique and it is one of those techniques that can be customized either which way you want to go you can make it more vibrant you can tone it down, um, you can do it all over, you can do it as a partial, you can do it just around the front, you can do it as a face frame. Like balayage, all it means is hand painting. And this is one of my favorite techniques. Like on my channel, we do a lot of balayage here because I never have received the same look. So it allows me to just really go in and experiment and get to the nitty gritty with the client and figure out, you know, what they like, what they don't like. And I, I haven't seen one hair color that can't be achieved with a balayage technique. Like it's one of those things you can tone up easily. You know, you can really add a lot more to it or you can tone it down. It's one of my all time favorite techniques. I feel like it is one of those techniques that just about works for everybody. And you just really can't go wrong with it. And as you can see, you know, I have different placements kind of, uh, no, well, I shouldn't say placements, but different highs and lows peaking everywhere. You know, I've brought the color down in some places or the lightener, I should say. Um, I've brought, a look, brought it up a little bit higher in others. And this is where you get into creative color and artistic expression, you know, being able to figure out where you want the, that depth, where you want those highs. You know, um, I really concentrate my highlights mainly around the face because I know first thing a client does when they wake up they want to see that bright sun-kissed face and sometimes people don't even care about what's going on in the back they're like hey party's in the front this is what I want to see but I like to make sure that back is looking good too because everybody else sees the back you know so when you turn around you just want them to be like whoa like the back was popping but that front is just looking just amazing and so that's the kind of results I want everybody to see and to feel comfortable with and like I said hands down one of my favorite techniques and one of my go-to's so we are here and you can see the finished look now her hair is still wet of course and the trick with wet hair is um it traditionally looks two to three shades darker so Sometime when the hair is wet, I don't even waste my time letting the client see anything because they're going to be frustrated. They're going to be like, oh, okay. And I'm like, whereas I can see the forest from the trees, nine out of ten times, I know they can't. Unless they just have a trained eye and they're used to getting hair color. And you can, if you can see it and you can see it, and if you don't, just wait a little minute till we get done blow drying it. <laughs> Do y'all see this color just coming to life now? Like... It was looking wet and just a little bit on the dull side. But as soon as you hit that blow dryer to the hair, it just wakes up the color. And that tone just starts shifting and shifting and shifting. And it's going to shift again when it's um, time to start styling it. So 
I just love the hair color process. But I noticed that I did not tell y'all about the treatments that I use after hair color and this is also where the magic happens. It is all about aftercare. It is all about what goes down at that shampoo bowl. So after I shampoo the hair, and I normally use like a neutralizing shampoo, sometimes I use a pre-toner, just depending on what I am seeing, if I need to go in and just do a little bit more color correcting, you know, just depending on the individual. Um, but my favorite two products are laminating spray, um, Matrix has a wonderful hair laminate and it basically just seals in the color and it makes hair color last so, so, so long. I do not charge more um, for this. I go ahead and I include it into um, my client service because it is imperative and it really does take your hair color from zero to 100 and the longevity. Second thing is hair mask. Um, I received a comment not too long ago with someone asking the difference between a hair conditioner and a hair mask. And let me tell you, although they are two different products with two different um, uses, they are both so important to the final outcome of anybody's hair. To me, this is just for me. I judge product lines off of their hair conditioners and their hair mask. If the hair conditioner is trash, um, I don't even waste my time experimenting with anything else in the product line. And let me tell you why. Because when you're talking about the conditioner, you're talking about sealing the cuticle. It has one of the most important jobs to me. It's going to, to determine how that hair acts once it's dried and how it acts when you when it's time for you to uh, shampoo it again and the longevity of the final hairstyle. So if the conditioner has not done its job, that means your cuticles can be wide open. It could be, your hair could be dry. It could be oily. I mean, just whatever the case may be. Or you could even still, if, if the formulation is not that good, you could still have conditioner still left in your hair if it's really hard to rinse out. So I'm one of those people. I am a very hard critic on product lines when it comes to their conditioners and their ha hair masks. And I, so far... I stand by Care Care. Um, it's one of them old school product lines. Your grandmama and your mama probably know about it. Your aunties, trust me, they, they know about that Care Care because it's been out that long. Um, their intensive repair mask is second to none. When I tell you, I do not play around and I will spend every dollar to make sure that I have a good conditioner and hair mask own hand at all times in my salon because even if the shampoo is not that good even if you know let's just say there's an apocalypse and there's only head and shoulders left <laughs> head and shoulders shampoo if I know I have a bomb conditioner and bomb hair mask I know we can make some shape so um yeah even though that's extreme I think about it along those lines because I mean that's it's it seals the deal. This is the last step. It needs to be right. You can't afford to miss out on that. So, um, and it determines how silky that hair is going to be too. So don't get me to rambling about that, but I make sure that I spend, um, extra, extra, extra time on picking out quality, um, hair masks. And like I said, care care is my go-to. It's my staple. I normally include that with all my hair treatments because I know it's going to take that hair from trashy to classy if that's the issue. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, Jackie's color came out so good. This 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 gold. This gold is popping. Now, let me refresh. Let's go back to the formulation cuz I really didn't touch on that earlier. Um anytime you are seeking that hair to reflect you want to keep the warmth there. My top two favorite, I guess you could say formulations, have to include um, neutral or gold. Now, 
sometimes if you put gold on top of hair cut of a lift that's already of course warm um it's going to intensify it even more but for that perfect gold neutral so i used an 8 in and a 10 in and I didn't use an acidic toner this time. I used an alkaline toner because I wanted to shift the color a little bit more. Um, and whereas acidic toners kind of close the cuticle, alkaline toners kind of soften it a little bit more. So it allows that color to kind of, you can kind of get, get a little bit more bang for your buck, you know, using the alkaline toners. But you kind of got to be careful sometimes because it can shift it more than what you'd like. So you have to be really intentional about using alkaline toners. Um, so anyways, her hair came out beautiful. I am loving this hair color on her. I'm loving the warmth. It looks good on her skin. And hey, I, I think we did that. And guys, we, we have to just pause for a second. Let's, <laughs> we, we have to acknowledge that we have made it to 1,000 subscribers. And if this is all because of you guys. Like y'all are the bomb. Like I have no words, like a thousand subscribers. It came way sooner than what I expected. And I am just ready to continue to grow this channel and gosh I, I mean I love the comments you know I love I read every single comment every single comment I I, I appreciate all of you all like I have no words a giveaway is coming soon or a contest of of some sort um you know we we have to we have to really 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 celebrate this milestone y'all give me about a week to figure out what we gonna how we gonna celebrate this momentous occasion thank you all so much i appreciate each and every one of you share make sure y'all like and comment it really does get um the content out there because you know i love being able to share um these transformations with like-minded people you know i want everybody to see that natural hair is beautiful and i love being able to uh, showcase how i like to decorate the hair and my artistic expression. So thank you all so, so, so much. So for Jackie's hairstyling, <laughs> uh, we're just gonna do some basic barrel curls and I'm not doing waves this time. I'm actually doing a full curl with the barrel iron. Um, I want it kind of voluminous, big, just body. I guess they're calling it wifey hair now. And I'm like, okay, you know, hey, I, can, I, I like that wifey hair. You know, that's, that's, that's something special. I like the way I like how that sounds. So, you know, I, I've been kind of playing with that look a little bit lately. And it really ain't nothing but just big body curls with layers. Now, unfortunately, Jackie doesn't have a whole lot of layers in her hair. But I was still able to kind of, you know, create that look in a sub subtle way. So um, that's what we're doing today. And it's gonna be something that she can easily maintain. But on the flip side, uh, Jackie's hair has a lot of static, a whole lot of static. So I know her hair is not gonna really, really, really look its full, uh, I guess you could say 100% best until tomorrow, until some of them electrons start calming down. As you can see, it's just, <laughs> I had to use some hairspray, a little bit of everything to get, to get this together. But it turned out good. It, it wasn't no big deal. Alrighty, y'all. We are done with Jackie's hair. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to look at, you know, final pictures, final looks. And if you enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe. I mean, you're here now, so you might as well just go ahead and join the fam. Let's just go ahead and, you know, make this official. Don't need to keep watching videos without subscribing. You know, that's not cool. We need to subscribe. I need to see you here. I, I love I love when y'all subscribe. It lets me know that you want to see more videos. And then I'm going to put a playlist. Guys, if you have not checked out the Disney Bob transformation series, it is an awesome series. You need to go check that out. I transformed four models into my all-time favorite Disney characters with Bob's. Hands down, it was hands down one of the best playlists ever so i'm gonna add that and then if you also love blonde transformations i'm going to put another blonde video at the end so you can catch that all right so make sure you subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video